Hello everybody, it's Pineapple here, back with another video. So today I wanted to talk about the brand new archetype that is Vanquish Soul, that is based on a fighting game archetype. So, uh, if you're unfamiliar, it's a new archetype that is coming out in Wildest Survivors, and it's pretty much all ultra rares because Konami hates us. Um, but that said, let's hop into the card by card first. Uh, first up we have Dolgoran, the Mad Flame Kaiju. Uh, you can search this with Small World. Uh, it's a bridge for Small World. Uh, it's a Kaiju. Uh, I really don't have much to say. It's a fire you can reveal for your Vanquish Souls, so it also combos as well. Uh, we then have one copy of Vanquish Soul Caesar Valius. Uh, during the main phase you get to target a non-Dragon Valence Soul Monster, Vanquish Soul Monster you control, return it to the hand. Uh, and if you do special with this card, uh, and as a quick effect, you can activate one of these effects by revealing monsters in your hand with the corresponding attributes. Earth lets you make it unaffected by your opponent's activated effects this turn, and Earth, Fire, and Dark lets you destroy a card on the field. Uh, this is a hard once per turn because Konami hates us, but that said, it, everything else is great. Uh, we're on one, three copies of Parallel Exceed, uh, making Rank Force is very useful, uh, and we make a link, link 1, which we can use it to summon to the Link Point. It's good for stalling with Baguska, and it's good for uh, making Zeus with Borbo and Chuck 9. Um, just a general good card. Uh, additionally, it is a small world bridge as well, which is very useful. Uh, we have what, two copies of Vanquish Soul Heavy Borger. Um, like the dragon, uh, you can target a non-machine valence Vanquish Soul monster you control, return it to hand, special summon this card from your hand. Uh, and as a quick effect, uh, you can reveal corresponding monsters. Dark lets you draw a card, and Earth and Fire lets you inflict damage to your opponent, uh, 1500 exactly, which is very good because you have an in-archetype way to go for damage. Uh, for time rules, as well as to finish off a uh, low life point opponent. Uh, Vanquish Soul Raisin, uh, when it's normal or special, lets you add a non-warrior uh, Vanquish Soul from your deck to your hand, uh, and you can activate one of these effects, Fire, uh, it can't be destroyed by card effects this turn, and Fire and Dark allow you to destroy all monsters in its column. Uh, this is incredibly useful as Interruption, uh, and lets you uh, provide uh, just the ability to pop your opponent's monsters at will. Uh, we then have one copy of Vanquish Soul Pentra. Uh, if you control no monsters in your main monster zone, you get special from your hand for free. And as a quick effect, you can reveal uh, either Earth, and it can't be destroyed by battle this turn, or Earth and Fire, and allow you to destroy all spell traps in this card's column. It's not that great, but it does matter because, you know, there are back row decks. Uh, we then have three copies of Vanquish Soul Dr. Madlove. Um, when it's normal or special, it lets you add a Vanquish Soul spell trap. Note that that does not include the best one, uh, Stake Your Soul. Um, but it does allow you to... Um, reveal monsters during your opponent's turn. Uh, if you reveal dark, you get to make a monster your opponent controls who's 500 attacker defense, that's relevant. But Earth and Dark allow you to return uh, one monster with the lowest defense on the field to the hand, and it's your choice if it's tied. Uh, we then have one copy of Revolution Synchron. Uh, this is re released in Duelist Nexus, but it is just a really good card uh, for this deck uh, because it is another card that you can search with Small World. It's a bridge for Small World. It's an extender that lets you go into things like Power Tool, Dragon, and Omega. Just a, just a really powerful card. Uh, three copies of Ash Blossom, it's a fire to reveal, and additionally a small world bridge, like all the hand traps we're playing. Um, and then we have three copies of Ghost Belt, it's an earth to reveal, uh, and again, it's a hand trap bridge uh, for small world. One copy of Div Incarnate, um, small world bridge, and, you know, if you need to get to it from small world, you know, it's just a good card to get off of small world to break apart your opponent's board. Uh, two copies of Droll and Lockbird, uh, just a really powerful card in this format, and it's a small world bridge for us. Uh, and a starter, so just unbelievable. Uh, reinforcements of the army, it searches uh, Raisin. Uh, small World, again, we're playing a lot of one ofs because they are bridges. You can search them with Small World, etc., etc., and they get you out of hairy situations. Uh, Stake Your Soul, you reveal a monster in your hand, and then you special summon a Vanquish Soul monster for, with the same attribute but a different name from your deck, and return it to hand during the end phase. You can only activate one Stake Your Soul per turn, but it's e from deck, and that's pretty much all you need to know. Uh, Vanquish Soul Continue, you pay a 500 life points, you target a Vanquish Soul monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand or special summon it in defense position. Uh, it's a hard ones per turn. Uh, just really good recursion. Uh, Vanquish Soul Dust Devil, uh, you target a Vanquish Soul monster you control, change its battle position, and then you get to change face up monsters your opponent controls to face down defense position up to the number of Vanquish Soul monsters you control with different names. So it's Book of Moon, uh, typically, but, you know, still good enough. I'll run three copies of Durandal and for Noble Arms. Uh, it lets you add a level 5 or lower warrior monster from your deck to your hand, and then you destroy it. Uh, basically, it's just three extra copies of Raisin, um, which is just really, really good. Uh, we want to find him as much as possible since he uh, is Rhoda on summon. Um, we then have Vanquish Soul Trinity Burst. Uh, you target a Vanquish Soul monster you control, special summon up to two Vanquish Soul monsters from your hand with different names from each other, neither of which have the same original attribute as the targeted monster, uh, but you have to negate their effects and then return to the hand during the end phase, and then you get to return to the hand all cards your opponent controls that are in the same column as the targeted monster you control and the monsters you summon. So effectively you can bounce six cards, but, you know, not that that's 
you know, going to consistently happen because you have to have pretty much everything in your hand already. Uh, the recap is a Tika boost since we, it's an incredibly powerful floodgate and we can play around it perfectly fine. Uh, we then have one copy of Cyframe Lord Omega just to go into off of Power Tool when we use Revolution Synchron, one powerful dragon to search to Randall and then go into uh, our ever lovely Omega to loop a card, uh, one Zeus, uh, one copy of Baguska to stall, one Borbo and Chalcanine so that we can get to Zeus, one Axis Code, one Heat Soul, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one Serb, uh, a Splash Mage uh, just to, you know, get to access a little faster. Um, three copies of Rock of the Vanquisher. Uh, it's a Link 1 that allows, requires one Vanquish Soul Monster. It can't be used as Link material. And while you control a Vanquish Soul Monster, your, your opponent can only target monsters you control with the highest attack um, for attacks. And during the main phase, quick effect, you get to special summon a Vanquish Soul Monster from your hand or add a Vanquish Soul Monster from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, that is a hard once, unfortunately, but he is unbelievable and does so much to enable you on your opponent's turn. So with that, let's hop into some games. So, our first match is up against Runic, uh, everyone's least favorite deck in the world. We'll start with Rhoda here, we'll grab uh, Raisin. Uh, we'll normal the Raisin here, and we. but first we will, of course, fire Stake Your Soul. Uh, we'll grab a Dr. Mad Love, uh, we'll trigger Mad Love in order to get ourselves the Trap card. Um, and from here we will normal Raisin. Uh, we'll trigger Raisin here, and we will get uh, Caesar Valius. Uh, we will then proceed to link off for Vanquisher, we'll add back our guy. Uh, set our Trap, and uh, before we do, we will Special Summon Happy Borger, we'll draw a card here here and then we will pass back to our opponent here uh we've got pretty much everything we could ask for here and they'll start with destruction uh which is fine by uh, me honestly we'll draw a card since it's runic they'll banish a bunch of cards it's to randall we need more interruptions here they will go for the ever lovely uh fountain here attempt to draw and we will bell that so they can't uh we really want to stop them from recurring any advantage whatsoever we'll draw Tikabu, which doesn't really do much against you know the floodgate deck we'll draw another card and it's pantra which is pretty good for us uh, we'll normal raise in here, we'll grab another Borger here, we want to put up as much damage as humanly possible here, we'll fire stake your soul just to get out even more, uh, we'll get mad love here, trigger mad love to draw a card into continue, uh, and then link off for uh, the rock guy, we'll special out Valius, trigger Valius to pop fountain, they will proceed to attempt to imperm us with freezing curses, but we'll tag out to dodge, and they will concede. So our second match is up the huge meta threat that is penguins uh i'm kidding of course but they'll start with uh their royal penguin garden to grab no penguin when uh we'll draw them because we're an evil monster the penguin squire here uh they'll flip up uh no penguin they'll grow for penguin brave they'll trigger no penguin they'll reset the at penguin soldier and then proceed to pass back to us uh this is kind of bad for us as they get to banish too but it is what it is uh we'll start with raisin uh they'll ash us which really really hurts um from here we'll link off for our guide, they'll flip up their big, big uh, penguin soldier, which is going to get huge value here. Uh, from here, they'll banish two. We'll get out our parallel seed, and we'll be forced to hope this Tikaboo is enough, which fortunately it will be. We'll flip it up and draw and force them to, you know, just set three and pass back to us. They'll walk over our exceed, but we're in a reasonable position here, uh, assuming they don't have some crazy good hand traps. Uh, from here, we'll normal out uh, Raisin and get Solemn Strike, which is a pretty good one. Um, they're, we're really riding on a top deck here, but fortunately for us, they can only get in for 24, so we've got some time because floodgates are good. Uh, and we'll top deck, uh, Mad Love, which is about as good as it gets. So with normal Mad Love here, they will proceed to Penguin Squire, but, uh, it, they'll flip up their Puny Penguin and get pretty much nothing here. Um, it's all good by my standards. We'll link off for, uh, the boy. We'll bring back, uh, Raisin here, Trigger Raisin and, uh, our ever lovely vanquisher draw add uh borger uh we'll pop their gar no penguin so that it can't trigger go for the borger draw a card uh and we're just so far ahead at this point uh it's bell which is just about everything they'll ice barrier us which really sucks we'll swap to defense to save our guy uh and then we'll ash the ice barrier add because we have two copies of it uh this is pretty much the end of the game here uh we'll attempt to draw but uh i forgot that ice barrier permanently negates because it's a good card uh, from here we'll special out Raisin, we'll go for Caesar, and from here we will proceed to pop their their Brave and bounce our Caesar, and we have, at this point, everything to reveal. We'll pop their Royal Penguin Garden, and they will concede. So, our next match is up against the ever-lovely Dark World, uh, one of my least favorite decks of all time. I hate that deck, what it does. Um, we'll start with Raisin, we'll get Borger here, we'll equip Durandal here, fire off Durandal to get a fire. Uh, and then proceed to link off for the link one. Uh, we will use it to get back a raisin. 
uh, and then proceed to set Tikapu and pass back to our opponent like the monsters we are. Uh, we also have Bell in hand because we're just nice with it. We'll special out Raisin. We'll trigger Raisin. I definitely did this too early, but we'll get Mad Love. Uh, I definitely could have gotten more. They'll start with Dealings. Um, and from here, we will just pitch another copy of Bell because we don't need it. They'll draw some more. Fire Gates. Um, go Genta for another Gates. Uh, I'm not really sure what they're doing, but, you know, that's not my business. Uh, they'll Fire Gates. Uh, we'll flip Tikabu here so they can't get back both. Uh, it's Ceruli, which kind of sucks for us. They'll special the Ceruli to our field, trigger Ceruli. They'll pitch another Gates for some reason. Their hand is terrible. Um, they'll go for Bigfoot. It'll snipe itself, and they will elect to pop our Link 1 instead of, you know, Tikabu. But that's my business. Uh, we'll dodge uh, an interaction here uh, with Borger. We'll draw a card. They'll pass back to us. Uh, we'll attempt to draw and, unfortunately, be met with Skill Drain. This is kind of annoying, but we can get around it to a certain extent. Uh, we'll fire Stake Your Soul. Uh, we really got to just be able to dodge here here uh some interactions we'll get in for a whole bunt boat load of damage uh and this will wrap up the game simply because uh caesar's going to return to our hand and then we can you know inflict 1500 with borger and dodge with um caesar uh we'll attempt to fire off uh puppetry here it'll be met with ghost bell uh we'll fire caesar uh i kind of misclicked i meant to do, do damage but i uh clicked draw because i'm a dumbass uh but they'll concede anyway so it didn't matter so we're back with the deck and my thoughts on it are simply this uh one it's going to be way too expensive to play in paper simply because it's all in a side set and they're all pretty much ultra rares which really sucks because it is a really fun archetype uh the second thing is it's really hard to play uh i found myself you know misplaying a lot at the start i don't think i've mastered the deck at all but it definitely has a ton of potential and it's a very enjoyable deck to play it's you know the design ideas that i'd like to see more from konami but that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.